Hi guys. If you couldn't tell by what's going on behind me and also the title of this video, this has been long overdue. I could not be more hyped. I should just open this and show you guys what we're gonna be working on today. It's going down. We're officially gonna be rug tufting for the very first time here on this channel. I've literally been talking about this for almost two years, so it's about time. It's about time that we expand the skill set, try something new. Let's start by taking. Oh, she's in there. Some of the items out of this handy dandy box that we have here. My very first tufting gun. Now, although I am an absolute, complete novice, complete beginner, I'm gonna do my best to walk you guys through every single step that it takes to tuft your own rug from start to finish. So this handy dandy little set right here was sent over by Best Gear. Not only in this kit do you get the actual tufting gun, but on top of that we got a charging port just to plug it in and power her up. And on top of that, it also comes with a handy dandy shaver rug trimmer. So we have all the supplies, I think, that we need to go ahead and start. I was also able to get my hands on some muslin. This is honestly just some fabric that we're going to stretch across the backing. Oh, we're gonna use the muslin to stretch this across the backing of our wooden frame. And then from there, it should be easy smooth sailing, hopefully. So I'm gonna get everything set up and then I'll meet you guys back and we're gonna dive into our very first design. All right, so at this point, let's go ahead and update you guys. I finally got the canvas to very tightly rest on the wood frame. So look at that, we got some tension. And now that this thing is kind of set up and ready to go, I also took a little bit of time to wind up some very basic 100% acrylic yarn into cakes because kind of based on what I've seen on other YouTube videos, it's a lot more smooth and efficient to have them caked up instead of in balls. So I got a little bit of a cute little color palette going on here. And before we go ahead and actually start tufting, I'm going to trace on a design that I would like the rug to have. I have no idea what I'm going for, but we're just gonna start drawing up something. Oh, I'm scared. I don't wanna mess up. Is that cute? I don't like it. I don't like it. I think I made it worse. Starting to get a little bit nervous. I feel like now that the moment is finally here, I don't wanna mess up, but let's just dive into it. I'm actually very pumped. So I have the tufting gun right here. And I just wanted to show you guys how we're gonna set up the machine and get it ready to tuft. So I'm just using this little loopy kind of tool. And with this tool, I'm going to insert it straight up through the little hole right there. And at the same time, I'm gonna pierce through this little loopy thing right here. So we're just slipping it up through that little hole and also guiding it through the loopy mechanism right there. And at this point, I can just insert my yarn through the little loopy hole like so. And now I can go ahead and just pull the loopy part back through. And look at this, she's all hooked up and ready to go. So let's test it out. This gonna be a lot of fun. Say hello to my little friends. Here we go. I did a whole lot of, a whole lot of, I don't know. Y'all, we have the first little patch. So she's not too bad. It's actually like a little bit patchy. I'm starting to damage the actual canvas itself a little bit just because I keep going in and out and in and out of it. So at this point, I'm just gonna change out my yarn. Okay, it's actually starting to look really cool on the other side.
have returned. Now it's been a few days since I last worked on, I almost said tapestry, on the rug tufting and we're gonna jump back into it today. But just from what I've already, from what I've already tufted, your girl has very quickly come to a few hard lessons that I wanna be able to share with you guys before you pick up rug tufting. So I already have the tufting gun loaded up, thread is on, yarn is on, and let's go ahead and jump back into it. So the very first tip that I have to share with you guys is although I have already strung up the canvas, as you can see, it is kind of lost how tight it is on the frame just because we've been working on it. So my very first tip that I can share with you guys is to spend a good amount of time and make sure that the canvas is super tight, as tight as you can get it onto your frame. That way as you work, it doesn't start to like loosen up on you as I have it. Okay, tip number two, it's kind of obvious, kind of a given, but I would highly suggest to make sure that the very tip or like the needle point of your gun is pushed all the way through the canvas before you actually start trailing up and pressing the button because I don't know if you guys are able to tell, I clearly am. As you can see, it's super patchy and that was just because my needle wasn't pushed all the way through. And then that also makes it super easy for pieces of your fiber to just fall out. So make sure that the gun is pushed all the way into the canvas. And then my very last and final tip number three is try your best to not go over the same exact spot more than once. I have done this on several occasions and then very quickly realized that I tore a hole, a physical hole through the canvas. I can't repair it. I can't put yarn into it. And on the front side, on the front side of the rug, there's just like a straight up gap. So those are like my three most important tips. This is what it's looking like, crazy. A ton of color, I'm digging it. Not quite, not quite how I planned it to turn out, but for a first time project, I mean, we kind of killed it. This looks pretty sick. Just imagine this up on the wall. All I really have left to do is to peel the canvas off of the frame, and then we're gonna go ahead and add some glue, some backing to the back side of our piece, and then, She's pretty much done and ready to be hung up on the wall, so. What's kind of crazy is that you can actually see my progress from where I first started the tufting to where I finished it. Like, look how clean and uniform and tight all of the stitches are, and then... I mean, I literally tore a physical hole through the canvas because I kept going over the same spot. So just little things to take note of. Supreme. This is literally primo stuff I'm looking at here. So let's get to the glue. Excess has been cut 
away. So now that I pretty much have all of that extra fabric cut off, I did make sure to leave about like an inch, inch and a half of spare fabric on. That way we can fold this down and glue over the raw edges of this thing before we add the backing. Now I know me, I'm gonna completely forget to talk about this because I'm gonna go into full work mode. So the glue that I'm going to be using to back the backing of my rug tufting, this is the Roberts 3095. Now I read a ton of reviews online. There were about three or four different glues that are highly used by rug tufting specialists but this is just the one that i decided to go with i purchased it off of amazon it's a huge heavy container of glue so your girl headed over to home depot i picked up a little spatula that way we can very evenly apply the glue so without further ado let's apply the glue One last final update. We have the backing. Look at that, a nice rug backing onto the little tufted project. Now, although she looks good, the yarn is pretty uneven. We've got some longer pieces, some shorter pieces. So, cue in the trimmer. the grand reveal this is what the final rug tufting project is looking like we got our all shade down so most of the yarn is very flat and even and it just helps to make all the lines look a little bit more crisp now you can go in with a pair of scissors and like carve out the lines trim it up and make it look super super crisp like you guys can see here it does look a little bit funky but we all know i have the too much jean and if i do that i'm probably gonna mess up this project so i'm just gonna call it a day she's ready she's backed i'm gonna get some velcro i think and stick this up on the wall in the bedroom so yeah that's pretty much going to conclude the first ever rug tufting project if you guys are interested in testing out and making your own at home tufting projects i will have links to every single item that i used to create this from start to finish down below in the description so feel free to shop around browse see what you guys like the best but i mean you can't tell me that this doesn't look sick. I think next up, I do wanna to attempt to make some, maybe some tufted tote bags, maybe even like a tufted chair cover. I've seen so many really awesome things online and it's very inspiring. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see me tuft next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.